All right, so lately I've been hearing a lot of people say that they love Ron Paul, they think he's the best guy for the job as president, but they won't be voting for him because he's unelectable, and that to vote for Ron Paul is to waste your vote. To waste your vote? Voting for the best guy for the job is a wasted vote? No, wasting your vote is acting upon the belief that there is nothing you can do to affect positive change. It's believing a lie that you do not have a voice. If you believe that, that your voice, your convictions, your vote has to be watered down in order to count for anything, then my friends, you've already given up the very thing that uniquely defines America. You've given up your freedom. And if you're not voting for your convictions, what are you voting for? You're voting for someone else's agenda. Imagine what would have happened at the Second Continental Congress if American leaders had decided that there was just no way that a bunch of ragtag American colonists could ever take on and win a war with the most formidable superpower of the world's day. Well, we'd still be paying homage to the Queen. Saying that a vote for Ron Paul is a wasted vote is like saying Rosa Parks not giving up her seat was a wasted bus ride. You have a vote, you have a voice, vote your convictions, and vote for Ron Paul.